about 2005, I was actually a 911 operator for a local uh, 911 dispatch office. And that was an, a really cool job, but it left me with a lot of free time to kind of sit there and go crazy. So I read a lot, a lot of, uh, of, a lot of books, and it took a special kind of book to grab my attention. I remember uh, exactly, I remember this day vividly. I was in uh, a Books A Million, <laughs> perusing the nature and, uh, and, and outdoor recreation section, and I came across a book that grabbed my attention. It was Primitive Living, Self-Sufficiency, and Survival Skills by a guy named Thomas J. Elfill. Now, I'd never heard of this guy before, but, you know, I grew up on a couple hundred acres of land, and I was always in the woods, always playing in the woods, building fires and camping out. And, you know, I thought I had a real good handle on how to live in the outdoors. I mean, that's how arrogant I was, you know, six, seven years ago. I thought <laughs> that I could take my knife and go into the woods and live, no problem. Well, I picked this book up and uh, my whole perspective on life changed. Uh, I realized that I didn't know how to do anything. I, I literally was an infant compared to the people in this book. I mean, uh, there's real. that's the best analogy I can use. I knew nothing uh, compared to these people. And, you know, I, de I just devoured this book. It was different than any other survival, wilderness survival related book I'd ever read. It's not a list of skills and, and how to do them. It's written kind of in a journal format and talking about the skills and why they're important and how they developed. And uh, it's just, it spoke to me on a, way, on a level that no other military gung-ho style uh, manual ever did. It gave me the knowledge to develop my skills to get where I am today. And that might sound a little deep and, and maybe a little melodramatic, but it's the God honest truth. This book nurtured an, an ember that was already inside me and allowed me to blow that ember into flames and turn into who I am today.